Greetings, this is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Reg. What we're looking at here now is poker. And this is another one of the videos in a series of videos on why that game. Well, what we're looking at here is slightly different. It is why poker without gambling. In other words, what is intrinsically good about poker if you leave the gambling out? I mean, what elements does it have that makes it interesting to play? And why would somebody play it? Preferably live. I mean, online people play for money. But what's here? I'm going to go a little bit in my detail, and then I'll touch on the key points regarding this here. My exposure to poker is when I grew up, I, I, there was always poker in the family. You'd be playing five-card stud, seven-card stud, you know, with where, you know, jacks. You'd play with wild cards and everything else. And... And I never really thought much of it. But then if you remember the Texas Hold'em boom hit, I actually saw the way they were playing with the bidding, and I said, you know, there's something here. When I saw Texas Hold'em with the amount of bidding and the play and the tactical decisions and all that, yes, there's a bunch of luck. But something intrinsically there grabbed my interest. So I actually got involved with Wikipedia's ideas here and got involved with the venture, never launched, but... In the middle of the poker craze, it was the it was a startup to do record keeping for bar leagues, bar you know leagues and bars and pubs you know pool darts poker. The idea was to actually come up with something that you could play poker legally. So I got familiar with poker, got really familiar with Texas Hold'em, played online, done stuff like that here, but studied the game further in history and got really interested in it. It's not like a top game of mine, I'll be honest with you here. But there's much respect, and there's a reason why a lot of people play with it. And I'm going to look into this here and explain a little bit about history. I believe poker goes back to the 19th century. Picked up, and you could look into history, but picked up and went regional. Started, it's an American game. Started there and introduced a whole lot of variants. But anyhow, let's, let's get on to it. And spread over got popular... And why did poker all of a sudden go pop and boom? There were several things that happened, actually. We'll explain a little bit of that, and then we'll go, my experience with the, we did the Bar League stuff, I explained about that, and that's how I got exposure to it. But what happened is that there was a ban on gambling online and everything else. So there's people an interest into it. But with the advent of the internet, there was ways to skirt around it. But then there's people who had an interest in it. Then there was a hockey strike that happened. They were shopping for content. Poker still didn't hit. They tried to televise it, but it didn't quite take off. It's when they introduced the pocket cam. Then you were able to see the cards and watch what it was. And that really piqued the interest with the internet doing what it's doing. And then the World Series of Poker and all those people playing it. And guys playing online doing it. And there was a lot to it. And that was my exposure to it. Anyhow, that was... And found out about the stuff here. But anyhow, let's look at the plus sides of why it's worth considering. Looking into and playing it. And odds are you might be watching this. But you pr might be watching this to see what my thoughts are because you play it. But if you aren't, you think it's just a gambling game. There's more to it than that. So, there is a historical thing, which is... I said, that's one of the things we had here. Historic goes back to the 19th century, and a lot of variants develop regarding it. Lots of them. I mean, Texas Hold'em being the most popular version. And then there's a large player base as a result of the poker boom. Millions of people playing it. And you can always find a game somewhere. And a matter of fact, due to the ban on gambling, you can also find bar leagues playing around. So you'll find a decent number of players, even if you don't play for the money, for the sheer skill of it. And you have the variants, Texas Hold'em being the most popular, but there are other versions. And what you'll see here is that I have other other versions also. I could probably show off some time. I'll show several of them. I have an auction version, for example. And then I have I have another one where you, you buy in the cards, and then I have a two-player version like that. And another thing I'll add here is that what's in poker, the skills, you'll find in other games. But poker is really the first put to it. Poker is really easy to learn. Very simple game. So there's a little barrier entry. There's also another thing as a good number for support of a good number of players also with that. 
It also has an interesting mix of skills. The mix of skill and luck, yes. There's an underlying level of luck onto it, but there's reasons why they don't run it as a gambling game in casinos. I mean, pure poker. We're not talking about the other ones where you're playing poker hands, simply because a good player usually can end up winning. That's why they do the rake, which means the house takes a certain percentage of the pot for itself. Matter of fact, that's another one I have. The, the auctioning of cards, I will get into another time, but anyhow. You have certain skills, which is a mixture of doing elementary statistics, looking at the cards, calculating the odds, reading people, and uh, also body control. When you play online, you get you lose about half the game, particularly the reading of people. There's a lot of deduction and intrigue they have that way. And it also, one more thing I'll add here as a final thing, support. You can play a two-player game and go up to ten. And the equipment's readily available. You know, outside, probably the hardest part is getting a hold of some decent poker chips, but there's readily available equipment. Anyhow, without playing for money, and that's what it was, there's still enough here to have the interest in poker for a lot of reasons as a game. It's a good game, and actually it's so varied it's more of a family of games, but still. Anyhow, I just wanted to share this with people here because I have some experience with it. It's not on my exactly my top of my list, but there's a lot good here. So there is more good to it than just the gambling side of it. So you know if it is, you'll be able to find a game somewhere. Go on Meetup, get involved with, go out there and play. So anyhow, I just want to share my thoughts on it. So anyhow, uh, that's about it. Stay tuned for some of the videos. I have Poker Variant or two that I've done, and the main one is the Ash Poker. But okay, that's it. So we have the, the historical game and all the other details I listed here. So that's about it. Just we'll get this video up fairly soon. i got to add the annotation and upload it. So yeah, that's the latest. Okay, I do want to thank you for watching. And again, this is the video on why poker without gambling. So yeah, I do want to thank you for watching. I may your die always roll five.